What's up, everybody? Welcome to my TNA Impact Wrestling Review. Uh, real big things on the show tonight. Um, pretty much after Final Resolution last Sunday, uh, we kicked off the show with Bobby Roode wondering why Aces and Ace attacked him after he paid him off to beat, beat the hell out of Jeff Hardy so he can become the World Heavyweight Champion and pretty much blame them. Aces and Ace came out saying someone else paid them better than Bobby Roode. And they were out and that told who his name was until later into the night. Until Jeff Hardy and James Storm came out. They didn't want to find out who it was. They wanted to fight. So they started trying to pretty much fight as an eight eight to knock them all out of the ring then. Stopping Devon and that bad just pretty much kicked their asses. Telling them we want a match tonight. Aces and eights versus Jeff Hardy and James Storm. Uh, Mickey, uh, I guess moving also to the show, uh, Velvet Sky going against Madison Rain. Velvet Sky pretty much kind of squashed her pretty much. Uh, I guess Velvet Sky trying to get back in the game. It, she was alright for making her in-ring, well, not in-ring, but, you know, kind of her return back to the ring debut, I'll say that. Uh, pretty, pretty much then show Mickey James crying about how she lost the title, blaming, um, what that Jesse dude that was out there. Christopher, uh, yeah, Christopher Daniels and uh, Cass pretty much didn't know who, uh, you know, paid them off. And they just, they just pretty much tried to brag about Daniels being AJ Styles. Garrett Bischoff and Wes Briscoe went against Robbie E and Robbie T. Bischoff and then won the match. Uh, it was good. It was a good match, a little bit short, but I liked it. Pretty much that what Aces and H members attacked Kurt Angle from behind with a baseball bat hitting his leg. Because next week he's supposed to go against Kurt Angle, um, go against Devon for the Television Championship since t t um, Championship Thursday is next Thursday on TNA Impact. Uh, other stuff that happened throughout the show tonight: Jeff Hardy and James Storm when he Aces and H Storm and. Um, Jeff Hardy won super kick on um, Luke Gallows and Twist the Fate on the, I guess it was supposedly the arm breaker dude after they took out Devon and two more Aces and Ace members that won the match and then Aces and Ace uh, Devon pretty much told him who paid him off Austin Aries paid him off they pretty much were shocked then Sometimes, the Aces and Ace ever even win a match when they do these matches I wonder, did they ever win a match people try to name one um, Daniels bragged about beating AJ Styles. Styles came out. He talked about he's tired of doing stuff for the company. I've done the right thing for too long. All I do is for the company all the time. And then he just said, this isn't about Impact Wrestling. He's doing it his way. He got rid of the shirt. He got rid of the hat. Dixie Carter stopped him in the back. And he just looked and walked off. And Kaz and Daniels, like, Daniels just celebrating and stuff. But Cass pretty much uh, say as a surprise for Daniels later in time, but um, pretty much I don't know what's left for AJ. People think AJ's gonna go to the WWE or something. I don't think that's happening. I don't know what he's gonna do in TNA. Is he heel or not? If he's gonna do it his own way, it doesn't look like he got a people were cheering him much. I don't know if he's a heel or not. Kenny King went against RVD non-title match. Pretty much like the match. But uh, Kenny King, I still like their match last Sunday. Kenny King pretty much used the ropes to win against RVD. I don't know if Kenny King is healed now, but we'll see what happens if this feud with um, RVD will keep going because I really did enjoy their match last Sunday. Uh, Hulk Hogan and Bully Ray pretty much argued about Brooke Hogan and whatever, why, or Mark, and then he's calling him Terry. Like, I wonder why this is happening. I don't, I don't know. Then Bully Ray went against Jesse pretty much Slapping the shit out of me in the chest. Uh, it was a it was a match you didn't expect. Uh, I, I'm surprised it went that long though. I thought it was gonna be a squash match for Bully Ray taking out J Jesse and everything. Jesse tried to get some um something in, but I don't know. Um, Bully Ray just did that whatever. It looks like an RKO pretty much, or a cutter, or a bully cutter. Won the match. Austin Aries came out, cut the cut a promo. Pretty much how he paid off Aces and Ace. He's tied to Jeff Hardy. He was the front uh, first on the front line when they were fighting Aces and Ace. But then Hulk Hogan turned over to Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy pretty much told him next week, Championship Thursday, Jeff Hardy versus Austin Aries three. And Jeff Hardy said he, he gets the fans what they want, so they start beating up 
Austin Aries then and pretty much ended off the show. Next week is Championship Thursday. Also, Tara probably will be facing either, I, if I remember all the knockout names, I believe it's between Tess Marker, ODB, Mickey James, I believe. Madison Rain, no, I mean, in Velvet Sky, not Madison Rain. I believe that's all names, but it was a good TNA uh, Impact show tonight. Good match, some from Impact. Not a lot, but it was all right. I'll give it that. Maybe Championship Thursday will be big next week. I don't know this Aces and Aces thing is going to go for. When is the next person going to get a mask? We don't know. They just keep attacking people they find and attack. But I'm going to go right now. Uh, once again, you know it's me. It's me, the H-O-O-D. And then I'll off with this review. No rhymes tonight, but hey, maybe next time, all right? But I'm going to be out of here. I'll see you guys later. Keep watching videos. Check out my live reactions from the show last Sunday of Final Resolution and its review. So I will see you guys later. Peace.